Okay, well, the doggies aren't very happy. Um, it's piddling down with rain here, and back in the real world after Las Vegas. So, we're off on another rugby league adventure. Oh, yes, we are. Today, it's the Catalan Dragons. Yes, this is Hull FC. Okay, Amozai. Yep. Daddy will be back later. I haven't abandoned. Uh, Costa and I have arrived at the Dragons and uh, just about to go, go into VIP area. Going to have a look in the shop though. And uh, what a disgusting, uh, filthy, horrible day. Yeah, not very nice at all. But uh, anyway, we're here. Costo's uh, ready to start at rugbyleague.com very shortly. So uh, we'll go in the shop and uh, see if there's anything new. Okay, we're in the dragon shop, which uh, never ceases to amaze. And uh, I was going to get uh, Costo some uh, dragon's underpants. But, uh, I mean, do you know this shop, uh, Costo? You can do cradle to the grave. The only thing they haven't got here, and I did suggest it a couple of years ago, was a branded dragon's coffin. And uh, actually, they thought it was a good idea. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, so uh, Luca um, has his new shirt, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. It's quite funny, Jason, because um, replica shirts aren't very popular in France, like the UK. Uh, so hence the replica shirt section is quite small. Yeah. So uh, people prefer this kind of stuff, yeah? which I have, like your dragon's uh, pink shirt or stuff like this, you know. It's quite interesting, and, and polo tops and things, yeah? They're much more popular, yeah. That's definitely you, that is, right? So, uh, yeah, so uh, there we are in the club shop, and uh, yeah, the new one's not too bad. Luke has got one. <laughs> Okay, we'll wait and go upstairs. No mo. Costo here. As you were saying, Costo. Well, bonjour, everybody. And I've got to say, this is my second trip to the Stars, you'll be a Brutus. And I can remember a few years ago seeing the game or the venue here on television and the social media. And it's quite amazing that we're here on the other side of the world. Uh, in the opening month of Super League 2024. And I can't wait to, uh, for tonight's big game. Hull FC in town up against the Dragons. Go the Drags. <laughs> Thanks, Costo. I'll just give you my umbrella there. And by the way, the dog has ruined it, but it's my Atlantis radio umbrella. Here we are in the VIP area before the game. Very nice. A nice uh, a nice glass of Carver. Uh, Blanquette Lemu. Jason, let me tell you the, the story. Um, Dom Perignon rested his troops in Lemu, great rugby league town. Yeah. And... Uh, the Blanquette was made by local monks. He nicked the recipe and took it back to Champagne. And uh, the rest is history. And up until a few years ago, you could still buy Blanquette for five euros a bottle. And I tell you what, it's damn good. Let's and try. we'll be let's serving just, let's, it. Let's just try. And we'll be serving it at the Super League final at Manchester United. And everyone will think it's Champagne. And rightly so. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think tonight? What's your prediction? I think the Catalans will run away with it. What about you, Jay? Jason? Well, the opening set of the game told me 20, and that is, this could get ugly for Hull FC if they're not careful. Yannick, what do you think? Archer? Archer, we win. I'll tell you what, Jason, that was ridiculous. Well, I don't blame the referee, but I blame his employer because he's changing the fabric of our game. We're here to watch rugby league, not powder puffs. Absolutely right, you know. And it's all about the insurance. That's what it is. Time uh, synopsis, Dave. A lot of errors. But uh, it's not the Catalans get away with them. But with the weather and the, the pitch, it's, it's making things a little bit more tidy. That should be real. Costa. Very important half-time address from Tony Smith. Uh, after the first minute of the game, I thought, hello, it could be a long night for Hull FC, but if they start well in the second half, they're a chance, but I'm pretty confident the home side will win 13+. plus. Yannick. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, we're man, we're... Okay, so uh, eight minutes into the second half, and uh, 
I'll have to see a goblin bat with a kick to come. 14 10, could be 14 uh, 12. So, uh, yeah, dodgy try though. Ah, uh, yeah. Dodgy try. I, I thought it was knocked on from well, the player, but you know. I, I want another look at it post match. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if he kicks this. Here we go. 14 10, could be 14 12. This to make it a little more interesting. And that he does. He does. Dragons come back there. I think that's a try, Jace. What do you think? I think it's a fait accompli. Okay. Look, at the body, look at the body language from Hull FC. And look at their 16 supporters. They're like stunned mullets. Silence. <laughs> Standing by for a green light here in Fepignon. I think so. I don't know about it. I, I don't know. I know. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there it is. No, that's not the ball. Oh, I don't know. I'll tell you what, if you're a Wigan supporter, it's a try every day. Every day, ask the pie eaters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, try. It's try. Right now. Right here. Right now. It's a try every time. Here we go. Rock and roll. Okay. Uh, the Dragons pulling away now, 24-12. With a try from uh, Tom Davis. Okay, here we go. One second. And it's over. Well done in the win. Dragon Catalan 26. Hull oui, FC 12. Here we go, Okay, Dave. The match, Jason. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a frog in my throat. 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 30,000 thrushes fighting through the thistles. But I was some South London so very fast with thrushes fighting through the thistles. There we go, fantastic. Another great reception of the Dragons. Must be 400, 500 people here. The food looks absolutely exquisite. And we are just waiting for Dave and Yannick to come. And we have some music tonight as well. That should be good. Wonder who's on guitar. It won't be Jimmy Buffett, because sadly he passed away recently. I did like Jimmy Buffett. And we have some aftermatch entertainment here. Don't worry, be happy. Oh, I like that. Voila. We now have some uh, Catalan reggae. Okay, well, uh, Dave, before we start getting stuck in, what do you think of tonight, mate? Good, it's good ball, and uh, always looking to win at home. And you can see the dragons, like the atmosphere they put on, even after the match, which they uh, show at, on the stadium, but also off the stadium. This is just one of the sweets, premium sweet. It's just brilliant what they do for rugby league. Uh, the club moves on and on. I'll go over to Jason. Jason. What do you think of tonight, mate? Overall experience? I spoke to Costo. He thought it was a good game as well. Uh, but, uh, look, it wasn't pretty, I've got to say, but a win's a win. But don't forget, early in the game, Hull FC made, made a bad missed tackle. And from that moment, they're on the back foot. So some positives to take out of the game for Hull FC. They kept trying, but plenty of room for improvement for the Dragons, but well done. OK, well, we're... I'm going to leave you here from Perpignan tonight. Fantastic at the VIP. And uh, for me, uh, next week, uh, we've got Catalan Dragons and Casper Tigers. And then on Sunday, going to be at London Broncos versus Warrington Wolves. And I'll leave it to Yannick to say goodbye. Yannick. Rock and roll.